you're looking at a car that can top 110 kilometers an hour, powered only by the sun. SunSwift 4, the University of New South Wales solar racing car, is part of the global push towards a new generation of vehicles that won't harm the planet. Hand-built from carbon fibre composite, at a cost of $280,000 and countless hours of labour, SunSwift is a racer tailor-made for one of the world's toughest tests of sustainable vehicles, the Global Green Challenge. It's a 3,000 kilometre sprint across the continent from Darwin to Adelaide. Clara Mazzoni is the leader of the SunSwift 4 crew that includes students from disciplines ranging from business to engineering. We've spent the last 18 months designing and building a new car. So we've raced uh, our previous one for a couple of races and we decided we wanted a new one to fit with the new rules. SunSwift 4 has been designed to meet new race regulations that require it to operate more like a normal vehicle with a steering wheel and upright seating. It's really, really nice to drive. I was really nervous it was going to be like Sunset 3, but it turns beautifully, it controls beautifully. I got fairly fast for the first lap round and it doesn't feel that different from my car actually. Really nice. The Global Green Challenge may be an exciting race, but its true aim is to provide a testbed for technology which will make solar cars viable. So the way the main power systems work, obviously the solar array is what collects the energy. So it converts the sunlight into electrical energy and spits it out as a DC voltage. That then goes on a bus in parallel with the batteries and the motor controller. And the motor controller is what drives the whole car and converts the DC into three phase AC for the rear wheel motor, which is situated in the back wheel, the, our lovely CSIRO. I think it's 98% efficient wheel motor. And also, it also works the other way when you're going down a hill using regen braking. It converts the three phase AC into DC and charges the batteries. SunSwift 4 has proved itself a winning design. It was first over the finishing line in its class in the 2009 Global Green Challenge and fourth overall. We were racing in the Silicon Challenge class and so the, the only cars that came ahead of us um, were Gallium Arsenide and those teams had budgets of around three million, four million dollars and they had satellite cell technology so they had almost double the power of what we had as well so we were incredibly happy that we even got we got so close to coming up behind them as well. University helped us out near the end, so UNSW Global and um, engineering, computing, PV, all all of the faculties really had some sort of part in helping us build the car, which is yeah, yeah we're very grateful for that. For the next two years, the car will be touring schools to showcase solar technology. Then it's back to take on the world with the ultimate goal of one day all of us having a solar-powered car in the driveway. <laughs>